So I got all the trench dug yesterday. Uh, we're on the manifold end right now. Uh, this pipe that's in the ditch currently is six inch main line. It's six inch, 50 PSI um, gasketed pipe. So we've got it all put together to the last valve bank uh, where I'm standing is gonna be pretty close to where the filter is. So this is the supply line for all the sub mains. So you can see there's a T with a stub up right there. There's gonna be a valve bank at each one of those going down the main line. And we're gonna put dirt on this to cover just to the top of it to keep the pipe from shifting temperature changes and things like that overnight. I'm gonna use that tractor right there to blade some dirt in on it and then we'll pack it down. Then we'll lay the two inch sub mains that are laid out. Here. So we've got this whole system tied in. I'm on the flush end right now. You can see there's a uh, valve down there uh, stubbed up. That's a flush out valve. So all the water comes to this end and after it goes through the field, goes through the drip tape and you can flush out uh, any sediments or anything that uh, make it through uh, to this end. And so we plowed tape, we came through and trenched it. And you can see here, the tape is right here, so the trencher cuts that whenever it goes through here. And uh, we have a pipe laid that's inch and a half PVC. And the way that that connects is through this tube. This is uh, called Speed Riser. Um, it's, this, it's this tubing and it has a, a barbed end that we drill a hole and put a rubber grommet in, and then this barb fitting pops into that and seals. So that's that's how the connection goes. And um, we use a stainless steel wire tie uh, to tie each tape to the tubing. And you can see there's, every tape is connected to the pipe uh, this way. And that's both ends. Like I said, I'm on the flush end right now, and I'll go over to the manifold end and show you kind of how uh, the manifold is. There's a main line, and then there's sub mains, all that. So when I get over to that end, I'll explain that a little further. Okay, we're at the manifold end now, and I'm sitting at a valve bank, and I'll kind of explain how all this comes together. Uh, there's uh, the six inch main line, and then we put dirt on top of it, and we Put our two inch sub mains in here and i will have to run wire these the valves are electric so there will be a control wire and a common wire for each valve that will go up to the controller which will be at the filter um, the wells are tied in up there uh, there will be an electric well that runs through the filtration system and then once it goes through the filtration it then goes into our six inch main line so since you can't run the whole, you couldn't run all the zones, um, there's not enough water, you have to run uh, certain zones at certain time, certain amount of time. And so I don't really, I think maybe this system runs four zones concurrently and uh, there will be, um, like I said, an electric valve for each zone uh, that goes from the main line, the valve opens and then it lets water into the sub main, uh, depending on if that zone is on. And so this is this is the valve bank here, essentially. Uh, we have our six inch main line, comes up into that T, and then it comes out and goes up against each one of these valves. When a valve gets opened, it goes into our sub main. That's, that's how the zones work, and then you can see uh, there's two sub-mains going that way, two going that way, and there's, like I said, four uh, different valve banks of four zones. So, um, same thing as at the other end, we have our connection, tape, tubing, oh, can't see it there, drilled into the pipe, get the point. Um, 
I may do a little bit more in-depth video of how the actual connection process goes. Uh, Rigo and them kind of got this one done pretty quick, luckily, so I didn't get a chance to catch any video of that. But we're kind of to the end of this part. Uh, really all we have left to do is run wire and uh, they uh, have to get their filter pad uh, concrete poured and get the actual filtration system built. Uh, and then we can run water, check for leaks. Usually we don't have a whole lot of problems, uh, but it happens, it's kind of part of it. And once it's running, I'll try to get uh, like a video of, of it running so that it, it'll help with the visualization of it. But yeah, that's it for today. And we'll catch you on the next part of the process.